What's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. So, the pre-judging for the 2024 Tampa Pro just wrapped up. In the first call-out, most of the top guys here were exactly what we thought. Um, if you watched the preview video the other day, these were the guys that we thought would be in the first call-out. Minus one guy, Tim Budesheim, noticeably absent from that first call-out. That was a little bit surprising to me, but when I saw him in the second call-out, he did look a little bit off. So, in this first call-out, you did have Lewis Breed, you did have Jordan Hutchinson, you did have Mo Fuda, you did have John De La Rosa, Vlad Sukaruchko, and also Felix Norman made that first call out. So a couple of interesting things here. I think the most noteworthy thing was that they kept John De La Rosa in the center of this call out and the second call out, by the way, the call out at the very end of the top four, which we'll talk about in a second. But during this entire first call-out, they kept John De La Rosa in the center the entire time. And Mo Fuda, who I think looked a little bit softer than he looked in Chicago, he was in the center with John for a portion of that time. But they moved him out of the center and moved Jordan Hutchinson in, which would lead me to believe that they have John in the lead. And they're comparing those guys to John to figure out who's second. Because John never moved. John stayed in the center the whole time, and they moved Mo out twice. They moved him out of the center at the first call-out, and then at that final call-out of the four guys. Um, and then they moved uh, Jordan next to John, and they switched him out again. So let's look at that call-out, because I believe this is your top four. Uh, John De La Rosa, Vlad Sukaruchko, Mo Fuda, and Jordan Hutchinson. So obviously going into this show, I think Mo Fuda was the favorite because he just won the Chicago Pro. Jordan Hutchinson was fifth at the Chicago Pro. We haven't seen John in a while, and this is what I expected from him based on these updates that we've seen. He looks very, very good, very strong and detailed from the back. I think that's one of the strengths that he has over Mo Fuda. Um, he's very strong in the side poses, very strong in the arms, through the, throughout the chest and shoulders. He came in really good shape here. Very balanced, very proportional physique. So I do think based on the way they kept moving these guys around and how John never left the center in either call out, that would suggest to me that John is in the lead and the judges have John in first right now. Um, swapping out Mo Fuda and Jordan Hutchinson next to John would suggest to me they're comparing those guys for second. Out of those two guys, even though Mo Fudo was a little bit softer than he was in Chicago, I felt like uh, Jordan faded a little bit at, uh, towards the end of the prejudging. And out of those two guys, I think Mo would be second. Um, so I would say John in first, Mo in second, Jordan in third, and Vlad in fourth. Vlad was kind of on the outside this whole time, and they never really moved him into that center mix. They never swapped him out in that center position. So I think they have him in fourth. But overall, I think John looked really, really good here. Just overall, very complete package. I think he's going to win. Like I said with Mo, I think Mo looked a little bit softer here than he looked in Chicago. Uh, Jordan, he's a guy that I, I've seen his updates. I really like his physique. He looks like he was in really good shape during the week of this uh, build-up to the show, and I think he looked a lot better here in Tampa than he looked in Chicago. Can he jump ahead of Mo Fuda uh, four placings from the Chicago placing of fifth? That would be pretty damn impressive if he ended up placing ahead of Mo Fuda here because Mo has such a unique an aesthetic structure. He really stands out on stage. So even though I felt like he was a little bit softer, I still think he looked pretty good here. And I think he's got a little bit more um, of an aesthetic physique than Jordan. I think he stands out a little bit more. I think he's got a little bit better taper at this point, And he's, he's bigger, especially if you look at the arms, if you look at the quads, even though Jordan has crazy quads, um, I think Mo would still place ahead of him here. But because I think Jordan looked so sharp here and he was in such good shape uh, compared to Chicago, I think the judges really wanted to reward that and give him that shot of standing next to John De La Rosa, being in the conversation for the win. Um, really impressed by him at this show. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your predictions for the outcome of this? Uh, 
the finals are in only a couple hours. This is one of those shows where there's not a huge gap between prejudging and finals, so we don't have long to wait to find out the results. But let me know who you guys got winning. What's your order of placings? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the finals video. As always, I love you guys. appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power signing out. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at Nick Strength Power, my Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power, my secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, Give that one a look, and all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.